Yeah, I can't believe it's the 21st century and this is the best system we can come up with. So after I had my Sprat clutch replaced, I put over 2,000 problem-free miles on the F3 and it has been awesome. But a new problem just popped up. I'm at around 7,200 miles at this point, and the exit valve just crapped out on me. The dash spit out a very dramatic warning. Stop engine, exhaust valve malfunction. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Which kind of makes you think the engine is going to explode, but it's not. Now, I'm not even going to roast MB for this problem because a lot of modern sport bikes use this same system, and a lot even use this exact same Japanese part. So you'll see it on Yamaha R1s and R6s and Jixers and Ducatis, and they all have problems. The part is basically a butterfly valve in the exhaust canister that regulates the exhaust flow. And this helps the bike run quieter to pass noise regulations, and it helps it run smoother at lower RPMs. So if you open up the left side fairing of your F3, you can see this crazy system. When you roll the throttle, it actuates a cable that goes to this wonky control unit. And inside that unit is a sensor and some gears. And then a cable runs from that unit all the way down to modulate the actual XF valve that sits in the exhaust canister. And this is the problem, child. <laughs> It basically just stops opening and closing properly. Yeah, I can't believe it's the 21st century and this is the best system we can come up with. So now my bike rides pretty rough at low RPMs and it sounds like complete crap. But the shop said it wouldn't hurt the engine, so I'm just going to deal with it for the next few weeks and have them replace it when I take the bike in for the major service at 7,500 miles. I know there are people out there who will just safety wire the valve so it's completely open all the time and just deal with the rough ride at low RPMs, but I'd rather have the bike run well throughout the rev range and it's still under warranty, so I'm just going to have them replace it. So I have a feeling that if you have an F3 or are thinking of buying an F3 and you put enough miles on it, you'll see the same message at some point. So hopefully this helps explain the problem. Thanks for watching. And if you want to hear more F3 adventures, subscribe. And I hope to catch you on the next one. <laughs>